hello all welcome to this python course this is a third video on uh, identifiers so here the right side is a program window and this is the left side is a console window all right the output can be seen here all right so this identifies so what exactly the identifiers is so in, in our basic english identity means there is uh, someone's identity maybe his designation or his address or um, his uh, his relatives or his friends right so well, that's what the identifies means literally it, sh it is showing something it is revealing something all right so that's what the identifier say for example if i if i mean a is equal to some 10 then yeah it is an identifier so here the a is identifier but but uh, in general it is identifier literally it is a variable so identifier means it may be the variable name it may be the class name it may be the function name or it may be the module name any of these may be considered as a identifier with respect to python now uh, let's uh, see some of the rules uh, the identifier has in python all right so these are all the rules the three main rules it should be a alphabetical symbols that is either the uh, lowercase or the uppercase then it should be the numbers or it should be the underscore apart from this symbol uh, there is no other symbol has been um, considered as a identifier in python all right so let me execute one by one let's see first uh, al it should be the alphabetic symbol maybe lowercase or uppercase so literally it says python is a case sensitive all right so let's see mm, what I, I can do is i can do embedded world is equal to you no know, 120 mm, let me do again embedded world is equal to 140 so here e caps and uh, here w caps all right so let me print the both let's see all right and yeah similarly Let's run this. Let me save this, and yeah, it will waste our space. Yes. Let me run this. Yeah, you can see the both embedded world has given the different values because we have declared as it proves that Python is a case sensitive. All right. So so this is the one. You can it may be the completely. Uh, uh, small letters there is a lowercase it may be the mixer of lowercase and uppercase and it may be completely of uh, you know yeah. yes, let me run this again yeah so we have it's a combination of lower and uppercase so lowercase and the uppercase all right so this one is over then let's see this rule so it may be the numbers even number also uh, can be the more variables or or, or other other identifiers all right so let me see 20 um, a b c is equal to 5 let try to print this 20 a b c let me run this invalid syntax so why it is we have we know so far it is um, we can use the numbers right so what it's re uh, it's uh, restricting and it's giving the proper proper as invalid syntax let's see yeah because the the reason is yeah the reason is yes of course numbers are applicable but there is a, another condition it should not start with number it should not start with numbers all right the numbers may be in the middle or maybe at the last but it should not be at the it start all right so let me erase the same 20 i'll keep it at the end and yes let me try now so abc 20 all right so yeah, now see, 
the ABC 20 value must be in uh, printed as 5 that we have been defined so let me give this make the same as like in middle we'll keep yes let's see we just put it in the middle yeah so that means only it should not start with the numbers but the numbers may contain the either the middle or at the end all right though this one also satisfies now let's start with the underscore we'll try with the underscore because uh, the identifiers can be allowed to use the underscore symbol right so let we start uh, we'll just uh, uh, give a command one like we usually use it's so embedded world underscore 99 all right so we'll give yes so let me print yeah 99 is printing so let me try to start with uh, you know uh, the underscore at the start underscore embedded world all right embedded world it's equal to yeah let me give 199 print this yes yeah so it's printing so we can start with embedder I mean uh, underscore it's not an issue oh uh, let me give uh, you know double underscore all right so well, what it mean actually if you start with the underscore what it mean or if you start with double underscore what it mean so the meaning is if you start with the underscore it means this variable is a private all right so the access the the accessibility of this particular variable has been to private if it is a double underscore this is a, is a strong strongly private all right so this is the meaning that uh, the underscore is start with uh, let me give yeah let me give it as double underscore and on the order higher you know uppercase then let me give this the value as triple nine let me print it it's a double underscore right so we'll give double underscore one two yeah so let me give it yeah so here we have the printer right so so this is these are all the rules to use uh, the identifiers this it should be I hope now you are you are very much uh, comfortable to uh, use because whenever you, you start a program you have to either create a variable you have to either create a function you have to create a class you have to create a module so so the main rules you should not do a mistake is uh, because usually people used to do a mistake in the uppercase and lowercase like in somewhere they used to uh, give it as an embedded world and in the other case in the other in the other place they'll use the same variable name as uh, some upper one le one letter uppercase by mistake so it's a human error so just to understand and um, just to have a quick um, uh, brush up so I have given these so these are all the three rules that you have to follow whenever you start to create any variables or a functions or a class or a modules with respect to Python all right so I hope you enjoyed and you learn about identifiers and yes if you yes you can always hit a like and you can also leave a comment like what kind of uh, program uh, programs you are expecting so that is yes, that will be also in a queue so yes uh, uh, try to follow us if you are really like and uh, we'll get back to you in the next video until then bye take care